In this activity, we'll expand upon activity four by having the students build a simple touch sensor using their buzzer circuits. If you're doing this on a different day than activity four, go ahead and put the circuit diagram back up on the board and ask the students to rebuild it. This will test their knowledge of activity four's circuit. To introduce the touch sensor engineering design challenge, first ask students the following question. What does your sense of touch tell you? They may come up with a couple of different answers. One may be pressure, how hard is something pushing against it in your hand? Another may be temperature, if I touch something, I learn how hot or cold it is. Finally, another thing might be roughness, how rough is a surface? The last and most important and simplest thing is whether or not your hand is actually in contact with something or not. Am I in contact or not? The touch sensors that your students build today will tell them whether or not the prosthetic is in contact with another surface. For this activity, you will need some small paper cups, a foam ball, some rubber bands, a little masking tape, some paper clips, index cards, and some aluminum foil. This activity provides a creative engineering design challenge for the class to solve. The challenge is to design a touch sensor within specific design requirements. The challenge and requirements are provided in the youth handout. Your students are to design a touch sensor that acts like a push button switch in their circuit. It must mount on the end of a cup and they will fit on the end of their arm. Then it must work in as many angles as possible. But making it work in as many angles as possible, there's a wide range of correct answers to this problem. And most solutions can still be improved to work at a wider range of angles, or to be more reliable. Challenge groups that finish early to improve their designs. Here are a few st designs that your students might come up with. Each one contains the two main design elements. When you push down, two conductors come in contact and make the buzzer sound. And then when you release, the spring pops the sensor back up. The first used an index card as the spring. The second one here uses the paper clip as a spring. This third one is a unique design with the sensor on the side of the cup. This is not as we had expected, but your students might come up with creative ideas like this and you should encourage them. The cup is meant to be the base of the touch sensor, so students should mount their touch sensors on top of the cup, as shown here. They also can make the cup a part of the touch sensor if they prefer. Um, that is entirely up to them as part of the design challenge. These cups are then mounted to the top of the arm using the foam ball as a connecting piece. The foam ball is inserted into the top of the arm and then the cup is attached to the top of the foam ball just by pushing on it. If necessary, a little tape can be used on the inside to hold it in place. In order to fully test the arm, the electronic circuit built in Activity 4 will need to be attached to the switch. As shown in the prototypes, connect the leads from the alligator clip wires and the circuit to the switch in order to test it. The touch sensor should be tested from a variety of angles. As you can see, this is probably not a very good prototype. The switch is fairly flimsy and it works well in some angles but wouldn't work well in other angles. This would work for the students, but you should challenge them to think of ways to improve the circuit and to make it work more reliably and be more durable at a variety of angles. As mentioned earlier, it's important to encourage the students' creativity. If they come up with a different kind of a design like this one in which the cup is mounted differently or maybe they want to use two cups, encourage them to make the design and then test it against the initial design requirements. At the end of the class, 
Each group should have a touch sensor attached to the arm it has designed. Ask the students to present their touch sensor ideas to the class. They should explain how their designs work and how they would improve them if they were to build them again.